Hello everyone, this is Seth. Today, as I promised, I'm gonna show you how to replace this guy. For that, first of all, we will upload the main video. Okay, before we start, there are a few things you need to keep in mind. You cannot use this technique on all videos should meet those requirements then you can use this technique to replace the sky is that the sky color should be lighter and your video other objects should be darker I couldn't find a better video but still if you see the sky is light blue the grass is dark the man uh, pants are also dark shirt is dark but it's still kind of blue but it will still work so if you want to use this technique you have to keep in mind only you can apply this technique on the videos where sky has a lighter color and the other objects are darker why I'm saying that you will understand when I will show you how to apply the effect so first of all this is the video so to replace the sky you can understand what we have to do we have to mask the sky out so instead of uh, manual masking we will use another technique first thing is I will copy this video copy and paste now you see I have two videos I will work on top layer the lower layer for now I will just hide it I will uh, unhide later so this is the first video this video the upper layer we will use as the mask to remove the sky from this uh, main lower video so double click on the upper layer now we will go to video effects go to adjustments go to black and white Now because I already used the effect so that's why it applied automatically. Now what will we do? If you go on the right there are a few settings that you can play according to your video. First setting is grayscale mode. First is average then is lightness then is luminous. It depends on your video but I preferred average one. The luminous and lightness it increases the brighter parts so I will go by average and for threshold levels you can uh, change them manually like this 150 or you can click on these three dots you will get this bar and you can uh, play with the mouse to see the effect so you, you can see if I go reduce this black and white what this black and white effect does is makes the darker parts black and the lighter parts white so what we have to do we have to cut out the sky we have to make the sky out so we'll adjust the setting in such a way that sky and the other objects are totally in two different colors okay now you can see the man and the grass are separate from the sky so I will go back to the main screen now because we have to hide the sky not the grass and the man but the black color is on the man and the grass so that's why we have to use inverted mask if the sky was black you could have used the masking but now we have to use inverted mask you will go to blending option for the upper layer go to inverted mask if you do inverted mask you can see the sky has been removed now this is the background now we will unhide or we will show the other video on the background the one on the lower layer so you will click on this eye sign here now you can see our sky is totally cut out 
So to have a video on the background, we first have to convert these two layers into sprite. So you select both, right click, convert to sprite. So now you go down right, change the settings of the sprite, use as container, no. Because when you use as container, effects doesn't show. Then uh, show effects, yes. Fill background, we don't need the background of the sprite. Now we will apply the video, whatever we want. I have this planet video. From the start of the scene, add new layer. Here is another tip, mostly when a uh, starter or VSDC they will uh, add a video or object or anything it goes at the end of the layer as I already told in my previous videos when you want new video or image to uh, having a new layer and in the beginning of the scene you will click here from the start of the scene add new layer so it will not go at the end now you can see okay it is an upper layer we have to have it on lower layer you can manually drag it or you can use these arrows green arrows now you can see the planet is showing on the back but there is little bit thing if you zoom in on the man from here if you go on the bottom if you see the edges are not smooth so for that we will go to that mask layer the upper one we will apply blur effect we will go to filters Gaussian blur all parents duration okay now you can see the edges normally it's uh, around four if you see if I change go to zero now you see the edges now I will change the level of Gaussian blur a little bit one two two will work too but I will use three or four now you can see edges are smooth now we go back main screen i will use some to fit okay now if you play the video it will look like this so this is how you can uh, replace the sky now for these two videos to blend in properly we can um, add some color effects to make them darker or whatever you want to do, it's up to you. So to apply effect on both together, we will again convert them into sprite. So we can apply effect on uh, both videos together. So select both of the videos, right click and convert to sprite. Now. Open the sprite, you can uh, apply any effects you want, there are some already default effects that uh, VSTC has, like for example it's all film 3 I apply, now you can see it apply on the whole video, or you can also go into video effects, go to adjustments, level contrast, saturation and everything whatever you want to apply you can do that so that's how you re uh, replace the sky okay there is another technique to give some really cool effects to your video sky so for that first of all add a video again start of the scene add new layer okay so i will click double click the video add video inside the video i will add the same planet earth okay adjust the size place it in the right corner Now you can see the lower parts are empty so I will go to auto cropping. Okay. 
Now go to blending mode and click screen. Now adjust Okay, now if you play the video, it will look like this. Earth is moving really slow. I will speed up. So click on this video. Go right. Go to option for sprite. Sorry, speed. And make it 250. Now movement is a bit faster. Okay. Now I will add a little bit more effect, double click on this earth video, go to video effect, transform, zoom, apply on whole area and duration. What I want to do, I want the earth to zoom in into the scene, slowly slowly. So click on the zoom effect, on the right where it says level 100, click on three doors in front of it. You will get this one so click on this linear parameters change now the starting value click on the starting point and change the value okay 75 will be good so i will make it 75 now for the final value put the cursor at the end and change the size this is enough 133 okay now come to main screen and play the video we'll see how it look like so this is another cool effect to add to your sky of the video so that's all for today if you like it like the video subscribe and keep supporting thank you